Welcome to Panorama Necto. If you follow the simple steps in this tutorial, you'll be able to build a dynamic, actionable workboard and learn key BI capabilities that Necto offers to business users along the way. What you're looking at right now is a workboard that shows product sales in North America. You can see a grid, a chart, a KPI that demonstrates the targeted goals have been met, and of course the video selections that we prepared to help you navigate through the product. Because we'll be exploring different workboards in Necto, I would strongly recommend that you open this video tutorial in a separate window so that you can easily switch back and forth between YouTube and Necto. Let's start our analysis by clicking on the One Click Insight button that automatically identifies irregularities in the data and let's see if Necto can help us find any hidden insight that we're not aware of. It looks like Necto identified several problems in different cities in all three product categories. You can increase the threshold to see only substantial changes, so let's make it around 30%. And it seems that only drinks in Beverly Hills are experiencing significant issues and show 37% decrease in sales. Now let's click on this cell and use the cause and effect functionality that will suggest to you the possible root causes of this problem. And in just one click, Necto shows us four different reasons that could cause a decline in drink sales in Beverly Hills. If we take a closer look at it, it seems that the problem is around sales to men and there is a 45% decrease in a segment that didn't receive any marketing promotions. We should definitely discuss this with the marketing team and see if there was any change in the targeting strategy. So let's add this grid into our original workboard to show the problem in the male segment and we'll then share it with the marketing team to discuss. To do that, you click on the white space in the title bar, anywhere left of the buttons, and drag this grid into the scrapbook. By the way, the scrapbook allows you to keep track of any important insights in view components that you find during your analysis, and you can then add them to any of your workboards in the future. Once the grid is in the scrapbook, you can click on the undo button to go back to the original workboard. Take the grid from the scrapbook and place it over the KPI to replace this component. You can change the layout to show the grid and a chart, or just a chart, which is what I'm going to do here. If you're curious to see different types of charts, go ahead, pause the video and play with the charts by clicking on the chart icon and trying different types of charts and you'll also see you can adjust the legend position if you'd like. Once you choose the chart you like, let's add a note. You can click on the notes icon and drag it over any component on the workboard, grid, chart, KPI, or even a specific data cell that your note refers to. And in this case, we'll type in our comment. There is a decrease in drink sales in the male segment in Beverly Hills Q3. Now let's add a title to this workboard. You can click on the pencil icon to go into the editing mode. And from this panel on your right, you can choose any type of component that you'd like to add to this workboard. It could be a grid, a chart, navigation, text, image, web, HTML, or even a reporting services component. So let's take a component and place it above the chart. I'm going to call this workboard Drink Sales in Beverly Hills Review. And if you select the title, you can choose the font type, size, color, and even its positioning on the workboard. Once you hit OK, you can adjust the title component to fit better into your workboard. So you've built a nice interactive dashboard, but now let's turn it into an actionable workboard that allows users from different departments to collaborate. What you see on top of this workboard is a social bar that can be activated on any workboard by clicking on this green friends button. This is the most unique social bar you'll find in any BI solution today. Necto recommends to you who are the most relevant people for you to collaborate with on this workboard. Now, because this is an online trial, you will see all the users that are playing with Necto right now. But if you click on the favorites button, you will see only colleagues that you marked as favorites. You can check each person's shared workboards or subscribe to their feed or get notified when they publish interesting insights or workboards or invite them to collaborate. 
And in this trial version, I would actually encourage you to start a discussion with Roman or our marketing team. So you can take Roman's avatar and drag it to the Beverly Hills cell, for example, to start a discussion about a decrease in sales in Beverly Hills. There is a decrease in drink sales in Beverly Hills. Have you changed marketing strategy? So if any point you have questions or are experiencing issues with your Nectar trial, please feel free to start a discussion with our support team. Let's now save this workboard. Once you click on the Save button on top, it will give you several options. Save, Save As, Save to PDF, in case you'd like to export it, or add it to Favorites. If you choose Save As, it will open your private workboards directory, and once you type in the name of the workboard and click Save, you can now at any time locate your workboard in your private folder. Let's check out the advisor that recommends the most relevant workboards for you based on the one you're currently viewing. On top, Nectar makes social recommendations. People who viewed this workboard also viewed these workboards. Basically, the same type of suggestions you would get in Amazon. Below suggestions are views based on data. Nectar understands the data in your workboard and suggests workboards that contain similar data. So this workboard seems interesting. Marketing Promotion Analysis. Let's double click and take a closer look at it. You can enable comments to see if there are any useful insights that can help you navigate through the data. And it looks like we found an answer to our question. There was a fashion show in Beverly Hills and money was reallocated to marketing promotions for women and that affected drink sales. That's a very interesting insight and we should include it in our workboard to be part of the discussion. Let's add this grid into the scrapbook, switch to workboards and in your private folder you can open your drink sales in Beverly Hills workboard and place the new grid from the scrapbook over the need help component and replace it. And that's it. In this tutorial, you've tried Nectar's key features for business users, and you can now play with Nectar by yourself. Feel free to check out the other workboards to see different visualization and analytics capabilities of Nectar. And you can check out Nectar's homepage by clicking on this home button. As always, if you have any questions, remember to invite Roman or the support team to collaborate, or click on Contact Panorama link on top.